Slow up now. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Head still rolling from the road.
Hey, mister. Bar is always better with company. Come and rest. Mm. So where are you from, friend? Kinda all over the place. I am from Mexico. I left because my best friend, a man I'd known my whole life, betrayed me. And why am I telling you this? Because often the company of strangers is the best kind. The closer we get, the more cruel we become. See, you know it too. I don't know how well you know the town of uh, Annisburg, but they tell a story of three brothers, close as can be, until greed destroyed them. They'd found gold together, but one of them ran off with it all. Now, the three of them lie dead. They say the brother marked the spot where he'd hidden the gold with tree carvings until he was followed there and shot dead by one of the other brothers. As far as I know, it's never been found. And neither has the body of my best friend. Well, I've rested long enough.
on now, boy. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. The Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a PD after coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So, this Colonel Faber, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. 
but I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Come on, pal. It's best we survey this on foot. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. I just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Well, all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no. I, I can't promise.
Hey, mister. Captain Monroe? I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Time to go, boy.
Okay, fella. Yep.
Hamish, Arthur, come on in. So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. So it's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you into war. Progress, well, 
It ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Well, I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? <sighs> I do. <laughs> I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's that? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. <sighs> Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. OK. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Whoa, pig. I'm afraid I lost sight of him. Don't worry. Traps go this way. Come on. You see that thing? It's as big as a buffalo. And fast, too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. here twice. What we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up and I'll go onwards. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. Come on, view. Yeah. <laughs> 
got thrown and a bastard hog got me. <sighs> Take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. He may be stubborn, <clears throat> but he's strong. <laughs> Good boy. Come on, Bill. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Easy, easy. Hey. 
Hey! Easy, whoa. Easy now. Feels like it's splitting into two sides here. I know. Well, just keep your ear to the ground. Be strong. Hi, Uncle Arthur. Hey, Jack. How's it going? Micah said he'd take me fishing. Uh, try not to speak to him, okay? Okay. Without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. I know supplies are low. For me, Good job, Mr. Morgan. I'm a changed man. Oh, hi, Arthur. Entirely changed. I have been saved from hell. He's not going to die. Of course. You okay. Not yet. And the Howdy do, Arthur. <laughs> How's it going? Well, I'm doing peachy for an old man. <laughs> okay. Bill. Hey, Morgan. We should talk. We got nothing to talk about. Sure we do. Whatever, Morgan. God! Why is everyone acting so crazy, Morgan? I guess folk are real scared. We'll be fine. We always have been. Now, Dutch will see us good. I hope so. Not you as well. Another fella doubting him? You know, I thought... I thought more of you, Morgan! Don't you look at me like that, Abigail. Bill? My lady? Hello, Arthur. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Javier, what's wrong? 
What happened to loyalty, Arthur? Blind loyalty is nothing more than stupidity, Javier. Oh, shut up. Don't get your back up. I'm only kid. See, you're the one playing games around here. Ah, Taylor. You doing all right? What is going on with you all? You're acting like children. There he is. Just want some goddamn peace and quiet. I'll go. Yep. What do you want? Why are you doing this? Don't worry, I ain't serious. Always stirring the pot, aren't you? Very well. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. <coughs> I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other hand. Yes, sir. I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. Hey, Arthur. You want to talk? You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? <sighs> Acting like a fool. How so? <sighs> Hurting and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. Finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. 
We'll see. Sorry, Mary Beth. Oh, careful! You okay? All right. <laughs> 